All right, what's up, YouTube? Got today for you guys. This is the iCarsoft Mercedes-Benz version 2.0. This is the replacement for the i980, I believe, is the original model of this. I'm just gonna show you a couple features with it, unbox it for you, show you what's in the box. I got this for about 120 bucks online. Something that you should definitely have if you're a DIY person and you like to work on your car yourself and it happens to be a Mercedes so you get this little cool carrying case of course you got the OBD2 cable that comes in the box it's just a USB uh, mic mini USB cable to power it on and now we got the unit itself it's pretty light feels good in your hands doesn't like creak or anything like that good solid build quality uh, it has a little SD card at the bottom I'm assuming that's what the software itself is loaded on and you can use this mini USB to power it up like in your house if you save your codes and stuff like that and you just wanna go back over and just see what's actually going on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you and I'm gonna go through basically the cars that are listed here and uh, that's pretty much it. So I got this thing uh, basically because I hit a pothole and it deployed two airbags and I've been using it to troubleshoot which airbags and seatbelts I need to replace. I got the two airbags replaced already. That was the back rear passenger one and the side curtain airbag. The next ones that I need to replace now is the seatbelt here on the driver's side and the rear passenger seatbelt. That'll be it. Alrighty, so I got this guy on now. And basically, you got these options here, diagnostic, service, voltage, DTC, lookup, review, OBD2, setup, help, about. The review is really helpful. I used this earlier, so I'll show you here. You go into review, Ben's test, my card to 11, when it was ran, and then you'll see a, a file here for my SRS system, and I can read the fault codes. So I'm not reading them right now, but I'm just going over the three that were saved, four that were saved previously. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back now all the way to the front. And we're gonna go ahead and hit diagnostics, hit bins. Just choose the only version that's there. And so 168, 169, 176, 190, 245, 246, 203, 204, 205, 215, 216, 117, 203, 209, 218, 219, 207, 211, 212, 213, 461, 463, 164, 166, 156, 253, 166, 292, 204, 166, 164, 163, 166, 240, 251, 217, 220, 221, 222, 230, 231, 170, 171, 172, 197, 199. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into my car, 211. Let me get the keys in there, and I'll show you what it actually has access to. So mine's a 09, so we're gonna go up to, as of 06, it's a gasoline. I have left-hand steering, and I have an E350. And just a second here. So you can come into manual and you have all these options here that you can choose from. So we'll just go through them again. Six cylinder, eight cylinder, transmission control unit, electronic selector module, Distronic adaptive brake, suspension, TPMS, central gateway, the EIS, SRS, WSS, the SAM, uh, the passenger side SAM, the rear SAM, if you had the Xenon headlight kit, you can access those modules, uh, the overhead module. Um, it's got like everything. So 
so you can, like Parktronics doing column, you could go in and you could manually scan or you hit smart scan, it'll just stand and scan it all. I'm gonna go to manual so I can show you the SRS. That's the only thing I have a code on for right now. And I'm gonna read it. And it actually reads pretty quick too. You get these things, you can control unit version, AV cam, it's a Bosch unit. I hit the button twice. Refault codes. Now, if I had resolved these issues already, I could hit clear fault codes and then press F2 and it would clear them. But these issues are not resolved yet, so the codes are going to stay. Now, the other two airbags were also on the passenger side curtain airbag and the passenger side rear rear airbag and I replaced both of those and this machine did clear those codes so I am confident that once I replace this rear left seat belt and um, this buckle here on the right that we should be good to go so let me know if you guys have any questions on it this is a must-have if you work on your own Mercedes-Benz um, I had before the um, the cheap one from Walmart it's like 20 bucks to scan it but it doesn't do enough it doesn't actually like get into the modules of it it just does standard obd2 which this does too it does obd2 if you want to plug it like into any car it'll do obd2 as well just like standard um yeah so codes found zero monitors complete eight monitors not complete zero monitors not supported one uh ignition type spark like so you know it'll do standard obd for anything but for mercedes benz it's in here one thing that's cool too, you have the oil reset, things like that. So like when I change my um, my oil reset, it's super easy. See the voltage of the vehicle. So my car is running a little bit low right now because I've been running this thing. Let's get it started up. And then what's really cool too is once you get into the voltage here, if we press F2, get the wave so you can actually see like the voltage of the car and how it, how it's acting. So now that the car's on, we're up to like 13 14 volts giving that battery a little bit of juice you know very very close to, to 14 volts and it's staying pretty consistent there so you can see when i turned it on room went up stabled itself out i did have the ac on right here though so that's probably why there's a little bit of additional draw let's see yeah as soon as, as, soon as i turn the ac on again drops a little bit and then if you turn stuff on like your headlights you're gonna get more voltage draw see that a lot of things people don't realize that's yeah, pretty cool right yeah there's so many things that you can do with this uh, one short video wouldn't do it enough but definitely guys 120 bucks you can't beat it hop online the way i see it if you're working on your mercedes yourself you have the option of this guy or you have the option of the zentry unit the zentry unit is like five times as much it does do way more than this thing does but um you gotta you gotta make a choice there i went with the cheap guy for now and um if everything goes right and i get some additional mercedes in the future i'll probably be getting the the other guy so that i can do updates and programming and and those type of things but for now just clearing codes seeing what's wrong with the car uh service resets those type of things this is the unit to go for all right youtube thank you please like my video subscribe to my channel i'll be making a lot more videos on this car and uh other mercedes-benz things